Nights. We're in Niagara Falls, Canada, and we're gonna check out a couple thrift stores around here to see if we can find some goodies in another country. We're actually here for a family weekend trip, but we're gonna hit a couple thrift stores like we always do when we travel. Anything good? It's got a remote so far. Um, no games really. I don't even know how much they are. Games! Right? Does this, for this, for us, does it say games? Yep. Daddy, I love you. I love you too. Oh, wait. Daddy, is this a real calculator? Yes, it is. Can we bring this to the hotel? You got your plush back there. Do I do? Um, the price is a lot cheaper and good enough. No. I just spent the 80 70 dollars at Bell at Bounty Village. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll try to figure out here. Frankie wants his uh, Mario game. There's no Mario game here for him. <laughs> he wants showing you something. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just seen the shelves. I, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I didn't even look, even look down. I'm sorry. That's my fault. <laughs> What's what? That. Looks like uh, scarfs. Okay. Uh, that's so all you yours, right? Um, like, where, where is the box? In the back. By the sorting room? Or yeah. By, yeah. The, yeah. by the sorting area? Yeah. No, I think I brought it in from the car. I thought it's a donation. Yeah. You're, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's like men's pajamas and stuff? Yeah. Okay, so that's one. That's 50. Um, oh, that's floppy this. Okay. There wasn't a price on them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is this all these things? Yeah. And okay. Okay. It's cheaper for them so, if you. Oh, okay. Sounds. Stay over here, but don't touch any of that. Okay. Um, three fifty. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a good weekend.
special delivery. Hey, we're back in the treasure chest. We don't have a ton of stuff to show you. We just wanted to put a quick video together to show you guys our little Niagara Falls trip. Um, we didn't put too much footage of the stuff we did in that. We didn't know if you guys would be interested to see that, as this isn't really a travel channel. <laughs> but uh, as you'll see, we try to thrift and go to sales no matter where we go. We try to, it's kind of like a lifestyle almost, right? We'd yeah. say. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we're out and about, and we got some time to kill, we'll stop at a sale or thrift store and just see if we can find something. You never know. Yep. And just, I guess we kind of put this together to show you too that it's not always banger trips every time we go out. Sometimes we find a few things, sometimes we find nothing. I did just want to throw in a quick plug. Um, if you want to see us on another channel, Reseller Clickbait is the name of the channel. I'll post the link in the description of this video. We did an interview with Jimmy and Ken they have an awesome podcast show that they do. Uh, it's pre-recorded and edited, which is good for us because we are <laughs> not ready for lives. <laughs> but uh, if you want to go check that out, there's going to be a lot of other resellers on there. Um, and it's going to be basically a bunch of interviews um, chatting about the reseller rally that we went on last year. It was exactly a year ago. Yes. And we had a blast. It was great. It was a little uh, riverboat cruise that went uh, through Cincinnati down the river and just hung out with a ton of other resellers that sell on eBay and we had a lot of fun, met a lot of people. We actually met Jimmy there and Ken and got mm -hmm. to know them and they invited us on there and we we're real thankful that they invited us. We don't take that lightly that they asked, so. They have a great podcast. Don't just watch them for, for us. <laughs> don't just watch that one episode. They put out an episode every week and I laugh every time. They're, they're hilarious, so definitely check them out. Even if you're not, into reselling and you just kind of like you know watch for the entertainment aspect <laughs> definitely check them out they're yeah. really funny great sense of humor with both of them you'll just just a good thing to have on and get a couple laughs and mm. smiles through your day all right let's get to our haul here our four things that we found up in niagara falls canada <laughs> but we definitely want to go back up and hit those stores again all right so frank found a pack of Diskettes here, some floppy disks, pack of 10. I think we paid a buck for it. You know, nothing too exciting, but it goes for $20. So a dollar into 20 is pretty good. And that was Canadian money, which would be what in US funds? Like 80 cents, maybe? It's about a 20% uh, difference right now. So would it be what? We pay 80 cents or so for it then? Oh, would we pay a dollar? Yeah, so it'd be about 80 cents, yeah. Yeah, so 80 cents into $20. That's a really cool. Uh, thrift store actually it was privately owned we don't yep. have too many of them in our area I think just because our rents are so high mm. for stores and storefronts are in our area right but um, that, that was a really cool store it was like a little tiny privately owned uh, thrift store you know well, it wasn't a goodwill or anything yeah, like a mom and pop shop right. so you know. we definitely want to get back up there and check that out there were some other thrift stores there too that we didn't get to see yes. just because we were limited on time <laughs> but I think what we're gonna actually do is a uh, Canadian video up there <laughs> of some thrift stores and whatever other sales we might be able to find and yeah. uh, put it together for you for just a different area. Next thing, Frankie actually found these. Um, these are vintage uh, Yikes pencils. I think when I looked it up, it came up like, I don't know, it doesn't say Nickelodeon on here, but um, Knucklehead Yikes pencils. Originally, I think there's supposed to be four in there. You know, the three that are left in there are still you know, new in the package, paid $2 for it. And um, similar to this, brand new, probably with all four pencils, goes for about $30 to $40. So not a lot listed though. So, I mean, we'll probably try to list it at that 30 or whatever and see what we can get. Found a stuffed animal, of course. This we actually found at the Goodwill that was up in Niagara Falls, Canada. Paid, I think, $3 Canadian for this. I'm not even... <sighs> gonna try to pronounce this brand it's a german german brand um yeah we'll we'll show you the tag up close here and show you exactly but it's a little dog he's got the tag on and everything the you know couldn't find this specific one but different animals with this brand one sold a couple years ago for 55 dollars. another dog similar to this and Recently, back in March, there was a cat that sold for $50 for bid. So I figured for three bucks, should be able to make some money on that. It's pretty good quality and everything. That Goodwill, that Goodwill we went to, them prices were high. 
Yeah, but it's Canadian prices. I mean, as you guys probably seen in some of the footage I put in here, but I mean, I know it's Canadian prices, but even being Canadian prices, they yeah. they were expensive. I mean, their plush was like how much? I think well, it was like three dollars. Oh, that one was three dollars. Yeah, I thought I seen some plush for like ten dollars or fifteen. Even. Maybe know. if they were kind of like uh, licensed or something, they thought you know they were more worth it. But so. yeah, I didn't find much. Obviously, I mean, it was definitely a diff little different feel in that Goodwill. Yeah. I, I mean, it was. I mean, it looked the same and everything. I just. Oh, it's hard to explain, just the way they set up a little bit yeah. differently. We definitely want to go back, though, check it out again. Now this. I haven't told Frank about this one yet. <laughs> this is very, very simple remote-looking thing, right? This is by Honeywell. It is a fireplace remote. It does work. I tested it and everything. Vermont, Vermont Castings. I don't know if that's just the name of the, the fireplace itself. Um, it was in a box of remotes at that first thrift store we went to, that little privately owned one. No price or anything on it. She gave it to me for a buck. I looked it up, and this remote goes for $200 to $300, sometimes more. So I don't know why, and I, I don't know. We'll see once it gets listed. I guess our four-item haul really wasn't that bad after all. Yeah. You did not even tell me about that. I did not. It was a surprise. <laughs> wow. That is cool. It, it's very weird. I don't know. On the back, it says pilot light always remains lit. So I don't know if this is for like an actual, you know, I mean, an actual gas fireplace. I don't, I mean, like I said, it does work. The You know, all the buttons work and everything, put batteries in it. It's in good condition. So I guess it's very hard to find these, you know, if somebody has that fireplace and just, I don't know, but that was very exciting. I, I didn't believe it when I first saw it, the comps when I was in the in the thrift store. So I checked it out once we got home and sure enough. I guess that'll help pay for one of our meals up there. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us for another one of our weekend trips to Niagara Falls. Uh, we had a lot of fun with mm -hmm. our son, Frankie. Uh, we pretty much let him just do whatever he wanted. It was fun, you know. He, was really excited about the arcades up there. Did some go karts. Uh, <laughs> of course, we had to walk along the Niagara Falls area. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, with COVID, we haven't gotten to do anything like that with you know the last couple of years, and he's just been asking to you know go back up there, stay in a hotel and stuff. So yeah, it was fun. It was a good weekend. So don't forget, give the old video a thumbs up if you liked it, and definitely check out Reseller Clickbait Podcast. Link in the description. <laughs> You'll see our ugly mugs there chatting it's our first time doing an interview so you guys will get some good laughs on <laughs> how we might have trashed their video i hope we didn't so we'll see how that goes <laughs> but we'll see you on the next one thanks bye hi guys thanks for watching